Hi there. In this video, we'll be replacing the SSD in this HP ZBook Firefly 14 G8. That's a mouthful of a name, but anyway, let's get to it. So, first thing that you need to do, make sure the laptop is off, which it is. Then flip it around and remove the screws. You need a Phillips screwdriver, so I'm going to do that and be back in a second. Screws are all of them loosened up. They are captive, so they will not come out fully. And now we need to put something between the, the back and the frame itself. Even your fingernail should suffice. But uh, you need to find a place where you can actually enter between them. So I'm going to take this up and poke around, probably in here. Yeah, it's going in, in here. You need to start spreading them apart. It has clips all around and you need to poke them. Found a better place for the fingernails, right on this edge. And you can uh, begin to pull everything apart from there. It is coming apart and you just pop clips all around more and more it's lifting up and it's out as you can see it has lots of clips but be warned the ones in the front are not the same type so when you reach the front you don't pull it like this you kind of slide it so you undo all sides and back apart from this and for this you just kind of slide it upwards and get it out of there so yeah that's done this is where we have the ssd normally uh, you kind of find a place again and with a fingernail you lift slowly the cover but Many would say that you first need to disconnect the battery, which is a simple uh, connector right here. So let's do that. I never had issues with not disconnecting uh, batteries in uh, laptops when I worked on them. But uh, yeah, let's, ne let's never say uh, never and disconnect. But be warned, if you are doing this, uh, there are many tiny components around this connector so you do not want to damage any of those just leave this hanging around and now continue oh it actually has a pull tab didn't even see that and it says pull so uh, yeah <laughs> pull and at this point we have the old ssd here and we just remove one screw and we should be ready to lift it up doing uh, that right about now and for me not disconnecting normally batteries in laptops when i replace ssds or uh, a memory in this one the memory i think it's in here and it's soldered so it cannot be upgraded in this particular model there are i think some that uh, allow to upgrade but this one doesn't is because normally if you shut down your laptop SSD and RAM are not powered so you, you are not putting it in standby hibernate or whatever you power it down shut it down they don't have power in them but if you short anything where there's power yeah you will have a bad day so it is better to disconnect the battery but in some cases it's really difficult in this particular laptop it's not so anyway removed that this lifted up and now we wiggle it and get it out and I'm going to install this little guy right here PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD I'm not sure of the PCIe revision on this particular laptop but this should still be uh, compatible we shouldn't have an issue if you want to read any of this feel free to pause at any time so uh, yeah let me cut it out of here and install it and it's out of uh, its little box if you want to see the exact info on it here it is 
you simply push it in here slowly and it's all the way in and now push it down in here and put back in the tiny screw for me with one hand it's gonna be more difficult but uh, if I can do it with one hand you should be able to do it uh, also and it's tightened I think it's a bit off to one side I'm going to correct that normally it shouldn't matter but uh, yeah you want it smack right in the middle and it uh, moves by itself a tiny bit but I think we are in the middle enough this time at this point you need to make sure that this shield goes into these little thingies the holders for it it seems it has one in here three on four actually on this side and one at the top on this side it only has one and there it doesn't have any on that end so uh, we need to be sure we are pressing it correctly into position and it's a bit annoying honestly yikes i put it in the wrong place make sure you don't press it in the wrong place because there are lots of tiny components all around and we do not want to mess with them still wrong i think now we are good starting to get in position and it clipped in okay it's good and in that one it clipped also so this is finally in place great uh, all the SSD was basically an uh, what was it NVMe Gen 3 uh, times 4 so uh, it was uh, an older generation but presumably this doesn't support the, the new generation so this will uh, work uh, at a lower speed from the older generation but it is backwards compatible so shouldn't matter at all and uh, yeah that's about it now we just power it up and see if it uh, gets recognized and in a separate video we'll be installing Windows 11 on this little guy. Let's plug in the battery and look at this tiny uh, <laughs> Intel uh, network card. That's the cutest card I've ever seen. Again, soldered. So not user replaceable by any means. Uh, I'm fighting a bit with this connector and my phone's memory was full so now I'm back. Try to plug this little fellow in here uh, slowly kind of hard to do with one hand but uh, I think it's again doable warning do not remove those <laughs> little components by mistake because uh, you will have uh, a bit of an issue and this will obviously not power up anymore and this is on now we can simply put back the cover and tighten the screws and to put back the cover as i said it needs to slide into the front something like this and now you can start uh, pushing on it slowly all the way around it should start popping in and it's more or less in at this point tighten all the screws ah, forgot to press record so i did power this up and now it's the second time i i'm powering it up first time it took a little bit to power up it rebooted itself uh, but then uh, it went through so be patient powering it up uh, for you now And we'll get a boot error because obviously, uh, actually, no, we are in hardware diagnostics. Let's exit by going to exit and hitting enter. Are you sure? Yes, we want to exit. 
and we should get uh, the boot device not found error and we need to go and install Windows uh, 11 on this little guy in a separate video. So yes, again, first power up, it will take a bit, caps lock will blink, I think two keys right here will stay with orange LEDs, don't worry about it, let it do its thing, it's detecting it, it's uh, doing its setup and then uh, yeah, you will be greeted with this and you need to install Windows on it. So. That's about it uh, for this video, hope it helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one, bye.